Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I wanted to bring you a, a Devastator build that is quite literally devastating. It is probably the most uh, OP thing that's in the game right now, in the demo at least. I don't know how well this is going to carry you over to launch, but I do know for demo, this, this is your absolute strongest thing that there is out there right now. So in order to get this class the way that I have it set up, first off, you're going to probably want to use two automatic shotguns, uh, like these two here. You're going to want to use the skill Reflect Bullets, and then alongside that Reflect Bullets, uh, it'd be nice if you had your helmet with the, the strongest first Reflect Bullets, the enemy with the most health takes 50% more damage. This is for a boss farm, really. This is what this is for. The enemy with the most health takes 50% more damage, meaning if you're going up against a captain and you're using your Reflect Bullets, the captain's going to take 50% uh, more damage. Another thing you're going to want with this is going to be on the trousers or the leg pieces. I think, I believe it's the only piece that can get this, but it's the auto reflect. So basically what this does is it allows you to use your gun while you use the reflect bullets. So this whole combination along with on your skill tree, increasing a total of 20% on your weapons here. If you're using two shotguns, you get 12% for the shotgun and 8% with havoc uh, for all weapons. So that totals up to 20% for the shotguns in general. You use all that together, this is probably, in my opinion, the most powerful thing as of right now in the game. So let me just go ahead and demonstrate what it's like. Uh, this is actually uh, Terra Inferma. So this is the mission. I've just started it. I haven't got to the, to the boss yet, but I just wanted to show you that it's not just for bosses, though. You can use this for everything, and it just does ridiculous damage. So I like to... Uh, use that just to start out my fights seems to work out I'll go ahead and pop it just because why not you don't really need it here see I'm just doing so much damage to everything like they're just getting wrecked absolutely wrecked see it was like not even a challenge whatsoever go ahead and grab this because you never know um, you do want to restock with double shotguns though because you only have 60 rounds so all right so here's what we look like going up against the boss so i like to start the fight with my leap against the boss let's just pretend like we're doing the farm right now okay which is actually what i'm going to end up doing here anyway so i just i'll just show you right before i start doing my farm for the day so we'll go up here we'll initiate that we'll do the reflect bullets We'll take care of the marksmen because the marksmen have a chance of dropping it too, or a better chance than most. I believe that's it. I'll just kill some more things just because. I could also pop Gollum here and then just not die, but I'm just going to die for the sake of the video so you guys see if you're doing the farm how easy it would be. Uh, this is incredibly easy and there's literally nothing to it. The hardest part about this entire thing would probably be farming the pants and uh the helmet of course you don't need the helmet really you, you honestly don't you really just need the pants you need that uh, auto reflect now the best way to do that to get this set up is going to be to farm the chest uh to do the chest farm now you probably already seen the chest farm but uh, i think what i'll do actually instead of farming this right now i'll come back to it it's not it's a piece of cake to get there anyways i think what i'll do is i'll show you the chest farm so you know what to do and just keep running it until you get the pants that you need uh, it's all RNG based, so it may take you no time at all. It may take you a long time. I, I really couldn't tell you, but I'll show you how to do that. There's a different combination of ways you can get these chests. You could do the three chests. You could do five chests. You could do the three chests, do the boss, and get the last chest at the end of that. There's just different combinations. I generally do the three chest method, but I will show you the five chests to run all the way back, and then I'll show you which way to go if you just want to do the three chests, the boss, and then get the one at the end after the boss so if you're just doing for actually for all of all of the above here's what you're gonna do you're gonna start in here that's where you you to restart in if you go at that point at the lobby here's your first chest we'll just label this chest one make it easier then we're gonna go back to where we started and go right outside it's just gonna be right up on the top of this hill here you can probably see it Right here, we'll just label this chest two. Right 
right down here right underneath the other chest is chest three now, this is usually where i stop and then i get one also just to note if you were to keep going from chest one keep going that direction you'd run into the boss and all you would do is complete that boss and then there's a chest at the end of it but um that's a little bit longer of a run for just two chests really or four chests depending on how you do it but we're just gonna go back this way now from chest three to four it is a little bit of a run but I, I suppose it's worth it. I generally don't do it, though. As you can tell, we're going quite a ways away. I hate that auto roll. I need to turn that off. We're almost there. Yeah, a lot of people like to do all five chests. Like I said, I generally don't. I think it's quicker to do the three, return to lobby, and then return back this to this point, and then loot those three again over and over again. But... Here's uh, chest four. I'm gonna grab pants just because you don't know what's on them. Could be good. A little bit low, but. 207, I'll take that. So, yeah, that's the five chests. Um, I, I recommend if you just get to level seven and you don't have the gear yet. I recommend you to at least to do this for any build for that matter it doesn't even matter what build you're going for to do this until you get comfortable with with all your weapons and all your gear and stuff and then you can go and run the captains and do that farm and whatnot but until then I recommend you do this it is not the most fun but it, it's part of the game so yeah just to recap though what you're gonna want for this is double automatic shotguns you're gonna want uh, leg armor with the auto reflect on it and then optional the uh reinforced helmet the strongest first it doesn't have to be reinforced helmet it just has to be the helmet that has the strongest first uh skill on it and then you're gonna run a run reflect bullets uh i like to use the gravity leap to start the fights just to stun the boss if he's gonna do some sort of effect or whatever it stops him from doing that and then you use the reflect bullets and just go to town on them you don't need that and then another thing too uh if you do the top path and choose havoc and shotgun adept that'll give your shotguns an extra 20 percent damage boost so that helps a lot as well so i hope this uh guide helped you and it showed you what you need to do to have as of right now like i said an op build uh, if you do don't forget to like and subscribe also i just want to say real quick i don't think that was the originator of this build but i didn't see anyone else make it i just kind of made it on my own and figured it out and then check the the uh, community and realize that other people are starting to do this too um, but like i said I, I i will never claim to be the originator because i don't think i was but uh, i did put two and two together and realize that this was ridiculously strong so i figured i'd show you guys if anyone hasn't seen it yet uh, anyways like i said don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace out